Yay! Soul Trice. Okay, I need water walking. Nope, which is up, not down. No, put your sword away. I'm trying to do that. I play too many games at once. Right now, at this recording time, I'm playing four Let's Plays. And, um... Also, I'm, like, playing the hell out of, uh... Fallout 3. Which I got for... For Christmas. This way. And it's an excellent game, and I can see why people have Let's Played it, but I never will, because it's been Let's Played... To oblivion, not the game. Uh, you know, you know what I'm saying, don't you? So I'm, I'm never gonna let's play Fallout 3, despite the fact that it's a marvelously brilliant, excellent game. But um, no, it's it's too saturated. I have got requests to do it, but I know I'm kind of talking about things off topic here. But there really is very little to talk about when you're running across the ocean. I'm Jesus! Just had to do that, sorry. But I am. Look at me. Except Jesus didn't look as cool as Variax does. No, he could. Uh. I think it'd be better in a fight though. Right, we get into a shadow here. Well, not a shadow, but like a reflection in the water. So, coming up should be a rather large landmass, which I, we are not going to visit. I don't know what that reflection's about. The water looks great in this game. I always, I always thought that. When I first got this game, I had a really crummy. Come on. Crummy PC. That was um, like just able to play it. And the water looked kind of um, well it wasn't wasn't see through. And um, it didn't have any reflections and it didn't move very much. But as soon as I saw it saw it like like this, you know, with the uh, with the ripples at the back and that, I thought, wow, that looks great. I still think it looks great, you know, even by today's standards, it's still very good water. I like how you, you, you like a boat and you sort of cut a, a wedge through the water, even though you're kind of stepping on it. Anyway, nope. So we're almost there, about halfway. Running across the water. Just here, there's a, a little shrine thing. Uh, not a Daedric one, like uh, just like a wizard's tower that has a unique item in it called the Bitter Cup. And what that does, and I, to be honest, I've never actually used it because I don't like the sound of it, but it increases all of your statistics that have high scores and decreases all of your statistics that have low scores. Um, and I try to make well rounded characters, so I don't generally um, use that, but it's It'd be an interesting thing, and it's worth two hundred thousand gold, as I remember, which is quite a lot of gold. Uh, and it's just nice to go and get, and then you can just keep it and then put it in your house, and you have like a nice golden cup. It looks more like a trophy, as I remember, but oh, we have another reflection, even though we're miles off. But I should, I we we should head towards it, because that's where we need to go. And then hopefully this guy will talk to us and give us this fork. Hopefully I've got the quest. I mean, I, I don't know why it hasn't appeared in my journal. Maybe the Daedric Shrine quests don't. But that doesn't make any sense. They should. So I'm kind of leaning towards the uh, scenario that because I got the quest and zoomed out straight away, it's bugged. But that's interesting in itself, I think. Because you shouldn't, shouldn't do that, you know, and... Uh, 
I will like um, continue with this quest regardless because the uh, the fork should be there for the taking regardless of whether I have the quest or not because why would you come here if you don't have the quest there is no reason to look where I am look all the way out here there is nothing here you know it's just mushrooms rocks and actually there aren't any cliff races so there's mushrooms rocks and me now this uh, hermit guy should be on the oh there's a cliff racer spoke too soon and oh there's another one joy of joys If there is a blight on this land, it is not Dagatha, it is you. Damn things. Right. Now there should be a shack. And so there is. Now I've come the back way to it, I think. Right, let's see if he's in here. Big Head Shack. This looks promising. What do you ask of me? Now, can I talk to you about a... No, I can't talk to you about a fork. All sorts of things, all sorts of things. Spoons, spoons, knives and forks. The master puts them here for play. Do you play? What is your game? The netch is hiding, but I will not look. We have to kill the bull netch. See, there it is. I can take that, I think. Although I don't have the quest, so maybe not. But here's some nice stuff here. Well, relatively anyway. Here's a Dwarven Albert, I mean that's nothing to be sniffed at. And a Silver Spear, Silver Spark Skewer. So if I just take... I'm not reverting back now, I'm afraid, so I'm not going to be able to complete the quest. But this is what we do to get the quest anyway, to complete it. We pick that up. And then we head this direction to this island here. Can you tell I looked this up? I mean, I know that, that if you wanted to know this, you could have just looked it up yourself, but then you wouldn't have my marvelous commentary, would you? I wasn't willing to... Yes, I knew it would be one of you. I mean, what are you going to do with me after killing me? Because I'm too big to feed to eat. You're not going to carry me off and feed me to your young, are you? So, I mean, what? What? Why are you attacking me? What do you get out of it? It's just some sick, perverted pleasure, isn't it? Anyway, what was I saying? Um, yeah, you wouldn't have my commentary if you were just to look this up. And now you know that if you get the quest, if you click on the statue and zoom out then you won't get the quest you've got to wait for him to just keep talking but then if I was going to do that I would have died and I'm not willing to spend half an hour trying to fight those guys I mean I, I okay I so I, I could have got Sajama but yes it's all Sajama thing isn't it bloody bloody blah yeah so Varyrex has got Sajama again yeah what a surprise uh, so I'm trying to find alternate ways to do things and sometimes they work and sometimes they don't and this time they didn't but I am going to show you where this bull netch is, and I'm going to show myself as well for future reference. Should be on this island somewhere. Oh look, cliff racers. I wonder if they're going to attack me. No, they won't, because I'm going to swim, swim underwater. I'm going to be attacked by a fish instead. To be honest, I'm not sure which I prefer. I think I prefer the cliff racer, actually. Yep, definitely prefer the cliff racer. Definitely for the cliff racer. I'm trying to cast a spell here. Yeah, failure means death. Their reacts do not fail. No, don't put it back in your inventory, you silly man. Failure means death. Death. You're gonna die, aren't you? Yes, you're dead. When did I last save? 